In this lesson, we will learn how to create complex illustrations using smart art. And in order to get there, we're gonna click the insert ribbon tab. And in the illustrations area, we have a button here called smart art. And what smart art is, is it's a way to insert a graphic to visually communicate information. So when you click on smart art, we have a lot of different options within the smart art graphic window. And so you can choose a list style, a process style, and many different options here in order to create illustrations. What we're gonna do for this example is we're gonna choose hierarchy, and we're gonna choose this one over here, the horizontal hierarchy. And it shows a preview image on the right-hand side of your screen. We're gonna click OK. And now we have an image of that hierarchy on our screen. And so let's say that we are creating an illustration that will show the, the playoffs of maybe a little league team. And so there are many different options I can choose. And let's say that I'm not happy with the, the way that this is flowing from right to left. I would like it to go from left to right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, within my new Smart Art Tools ribbon, the Design tab, I'm going to click right to left, and it flips that image so that it's flowing now from left to right. And let's say that I've got four teams participating in these playoffs, and currently in the left-hand side here, I've only got three showing. So I'd like to add another team to, these, to this image. I'm going to select this last box in the lower left-hand corner. I'm going to go up here and choose Add Shape. And you can actually click the drop-down and you can choose where that shape will be added. Okay, I'm gonna click Add Shape After. And now I have a fourth team that I can, I can put into my image. And let's say that I wanna start adding names into my boxes here. So in the first one, I'm gonna type Tigers. And the interesting thing here is that the text font size will adjust according to the length of your, of your word. So for example, in the second box, if I type Wolverines, it's a very long word, it automatically adjusts the size of the text for all of them to accommodate that particular word. And let's say I've got sharks here, and I've got minnows here. And then let's say that the tigers won this particular game and the minnows won this particular game and then the tigers won the championship. Now another thing we can do is we can change the color scheme. So if you click this change colors button we have different options that we can choose within our change colors. And so I want this to be a little more colorful. I'm going to choose this color scheme here, colorful range, and it changes my colors accordingly. And let's say that I'm happy with this, but the tigers, I actually would like to be a different color. So now when I have just the tigers selected, I'm going to right click and choose fill. And I can change the fill color for tigers to, let's say we want the tigers to be red. Now within the Smart Art Styles here, we can click the drop down, and let's say we wanted a 3D effect applied to our Smart Art graphic here, and now that applies a 3D effect to our image. Now you'll notice that the color reverted back to the style that we had originally chosen, so now if I wanted to change tigers back to a different color, I can just right click and change that back to the red color that I originally had chosen before I placed the 3D effect to it. And that's how we can use SmartArt to create illustrations within Word.